hey welcome back so so far we can post on our group which is awesome yeah but now we can change our cover image even if we tried so let's look at how to change that code which is uh not a biggie at all so let's come to change image here now the reason we're looking into change image is because when we do post on the group we are including that file there so i will bring it bring it back into play yes that's what i was looking for bring it back into play so let's go here change image and let's look at uh, this if statement over here. So this if statement is looking specifically for this scenario here, where the URL one is either equal to profile or it's equal to cover. And in our case, we are changing the cover image of this thing. Yes, mm -hmm. we are changing the cover. So, this is where we have a little bit of a problem mm -hmm. with what we did there because we removed the action and so we cannot determine when we are trying to change the cover. So, that was a terrible thing to do. <laughs> so, let's come back here for a second and see what our options are. So, let me go to profile.php for a second. And let's go down here where we are changing the cover and see if we can bring that baby back. So there's this one where there's profile and then there's cover. Uh, so I think this is going to fail because it doesn't have root. So definitely add root there. So every time you encounter one of these uh, which doesn't have root, just add it there because otherwise it will definitely not work. Okay, so that one is for the, that was for the profile cover, that was for the cover, and this one is for the profile profile. Okay, good. So this is the one for the cover. So we were looking at cover at the very end there. So there's our profile and then there's cover. So let's see how we can manipulate this. So I'll copy this, let's get it to work shall we let me go back to group.php and let me come down here where it says uh, change cover change cover area and i will post paste it there okay so definitely we need to change this to group uh -huh. but because normally for a, gr a group to read we need the the second parameter to be the actual group id but then we're just going to add slash cover at the very end there. So right at this point here, I will put my PHP tags again like this and then add a variable there. Now we know that uh, the group information is inside group data. So let's use group data, shall we? Underscore data. And then we are going to ask for user ID right there like this and then close those tags mm -hmm. now i don't want to post anything uh, when i click here because if i do just click uh, actually let's let, let's make this a little bit more thorough okay instead of just having this else statement here we have to make sure that we ask the question is post saved because if I go down here where let me go back to my uh, I will inspect the element yes I want to look at the fields that are here so the first one is named post okay so we should be looking for that this was uh, not very good programming on my part so let me copy this this is inside group.php yes so I will copy this so instead of just having an else statement here, I'll, I'll concatenate the if at the end there. So it's else if is a set post. That way we just don't create posts anyhow, even when uh, we are trying to add a profile image instead. So with this done like this, I will copy this and go to profile.php and do exactly that same thing as well, just to make it more 
robust so just paste that there like this okay all right so let's come back to group.php here so with this done i'm not going to create unnecessary posts here because also in change image none of this will be met so this whole thing will not actually run so let me refresh my page and just try uh, to click on change cover browse and let's put uh, one of these burgers or something change so it's telling me that group was not found and why is that well i can see in my url i missed a slash key there so let's go back to let me go back to profile.php just to make sure i didn't make exactly the same mistake here as well mm, definitely not okay so let's go to group.php down 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 to where we are changing the uh, thingy here so this is where i messed up i should have put a slash right there and that is what is causing that problem so let's click on change cover and try again with that burger change oopsie that group was not found now the reason this is happening is because i didn't refresh my page so let's try again browse let's go and change very nice mm -hmm. so this time we have uh, something more happening so my first group we're still on group but why isn't it showing the discussion area so that is also uh, important to note and that's because uh, cover there is uh, let me come down here and this is because when we look at sections here we are looking specifically for that very memory location which is number two so if you look here we have one zero one two so we are at cover there so just to cover our bases if it's equal to default or let's put an or statement here or it's equal to cover uh, we just uh, show the default page so that should sort that little problem out let me resend the data and there we go so as if uh, nothing is different good but we won't have to worry about this once the image is actually sent because inside the change image we're going to be redirected after the whole thing of um, posting so even here where we are being redirected we need to change this so i'll change this from profile to group so this is inside change image.php and then what i will need to do is put a slash there and put my user id but not my user ID per se, the group user ID. So group data is always available around here. So let's use that group data user ID like this, and then concatenate a string at the very end, which is the, actually, no, we do not need anything else apart from this. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be fine okay so pretty awesome now when we do create a post uh, we have to remember again that when creating a post well this is post create post let's go back to post.php class where we are creating a post we have to remember that that is still a post which requires an owner okay because it is a group post even though we are just changing the image so the problem is what i have done here is i have changed this url but this file is required is included even when it's just a normal profile that's uh, that's doing this okay so in cases where it's a normal profile we don't need group here we have to go back to profile so we need a way to check for that okay so let me duplicate this for a second and put two of them. So I will put one that has profile here and then remove everything else here. 
Okay. Why so many curls? All right, seems uh, legit. So one of these has root and profile, it takes us back to the profile. The other one takes us back to the group. So all we need to check for is if group data is set. And that's it. So, so I can't do this. What I will do is say, uh, let me come back here. So if in case there's a page, you search for page data is set. So if is set uh, group data, and then now we are going to header using the group. But uh, else we are going to go to the profile. Okay, so that sorts the problem out. But another issue is that now we need to know if we are using group data, then even this will be different. So up to this point, everything remains the same, except this part right here. So I will move this part right here as well. First of all, let me duplicate it. I will move it into the if statement so that it is a part of this wonderful group celebration in here. So let me copy this, put the owner at the end there very important otherwise it won't be flagged as a group post do the same thing for this one move it down here uh -huh. 